Hey there, folks. What's up? What's up? Won two games in a row. Five out of six. So that's not bad. We've done it pretty quietly, I think. Um, I don't know why we beat that. We beat that Yakovenko, and then we lost the next game. Kind of ruined our momentum. Won two games after, so that was nice. Anyway, we are playing. I forget who this guy is. But I've played him a bunch of times. Definitely played this guy before. Does he go bishop c4? That's why. Alright. I think he, he does something annoying, if I'm not mistaken. Whatever, I'm just going to castle. So, this is a tough question. How do I play this position? So like, I'm just going to play like solid, like b6, d6. I don't really want to go d5 right now. Awkward to me. Uh, okay. I didn't even think about that. That's kind of annoying. Hmm. I don't know exactly how to deal with it. Threatening d6. If I go f6, it sucks. You know what else to do? I have to think for a bit here. Pawn takes, pawn takes, d6, rookie one. I don't know what else to do, honestly. I may have to go f6, but it's really ugly. Really ugly. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try to live without the move f6, but I can't. Well, no, I can. Rook e8, bishop a4, knight d7. Alright, alright, this is really ugly. f6 results in this weakening that just never goes away. Uh, if queen e2, I can go like king f8. Yeah. My teeth. <laughs> mm. King f8. I mean, it's ugly. It remains ugly. I can't go queen to d7 because of bishop a4. I don't even know if I can go queen c7 because of bishop a4. I'll probably want to go knight to d7. Do it here. I don't know what else to do. It's queen, queen b5. I don't know. Bishop c8 is playable. I can't understand that move, but there must be a reason. There must be something because it's so stupid otherwise. Really, like no re like, what is he doing? Why, why would he take that? What is, <laughs> what exactly are you accomplishing with that move? I'm just gonna win a pawn immediately. I'm, I can just take on d5. Uh, I can also take on, do a lot of good things. Um, knight f5. Let's think about. Moves queen to c2. I mean, I'm probably gonna take this. I played really badly. Gotta watch out for his b2 pawn. Usually I don't like to say this stuff about my opponents, but this was remarkable because... I just can't understand bishop takes d7. Like, why? Why would you do that? I developed my... you know, my pieces were kind of at least, like, blocked up. Oh, whatever. He did it. Um, I'm probably gonna take an e1. Let's do this. And I'm gonna move my knight somewhere. Like for where yet. He's gonna take with the knight, I assume. I'm looking for tricks like queen g4, but he can just take my pawn there. <clears throat> Even there I think I have good compensation. But I'm gonna keep my knight. I'm gonna hold on to it. I should play the safe move. Mm. E5 is interesting. Take, knight takes. Rook E8. Uh, you know what? I'm going to bring my rook to the center before I do anything. 
I might go knight e6 to b4 also. Let's, let's do this. Attacking his bishop. He'll probably go bishop e3. I go knight d4. You know, like, he gets a d5 square, though. So it's, it's kind of irritating. But my pieces are active. And even if he wins the d6 pawn at some point, it's not the end of the world. I'm just going to do this. Okie G4 is like very strong looking. Really strong. I'm also threatening knight f3. Check. Threatening g2. Okay. Um. Hold on, folks. Hold on. I think rook e3 is winning. Pawn takes knight f3, and if queen takes, queen takes g2. That was the most accurate. Knight f3 right away allowed king h1, and it's still totally winning for me, but this is this is more winning. Did he resign that I didn't even notice, or is he lag? Lagging. Hopefully I'm not lagging. Okay. This is a shocking turn of events. Um, oh, uh, I guess knight f3. He could, he could get away with resigning here. Okay, he does. So let's take a quick look. Third win in a row. Way to go, us. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe I should be doing this e6, but I, probably I should. This is already, like, somewhat annoying. Oh, excuse me. I don't like to take... Oh, I can take and not go d5. That's the thing. I don't like going d5 in these positions. I feel like after e5, sometimes I don't like the way this bishop looks. But the computer seems to think it's still okay. Maybe I'm unfairly biased against that move. Uh, I really thought d5 was unpleasant. Let's see how I handled it. I didn't play h6. Maybe that would have been a good idea. That after bishop h4, I can think about the move g5. But instead, I did this and I totally boxed my pieces in. But according to Houdini, all is not lost yet. Now, what's this bishop a4 is playable for me? But like, bishop, like, queen b5 is what I thought about. Like, bishop takes knight was just insane. Like, look at this knight, it's pinned. And my queen is blocked, it has nowhere to go. Like, it's just like, it's almost better to blunder a rook, you know? Like, because this is like a move that's. I mean, I'm guessing he made some, like, weird miscalculation, like he thought somehow he could take this or something. I, I really don't know. Otherwise, it's just, it's just not even a legal move, honestly. It is, but it's not a move you would look at, because you never look at moves where you trade off a good piece for one that's pinned. It's just, it shouldn't enter your consciousness as a legal move. Uh, the only reason to play it is if it actually, like, wins something. So it was kind of surprising. Uh, if queen b5, I was going to play... You know, I was thinking about bishop c8. Or I could move the knight. I was a little scared of it. This is obviously pathetic. So I probably would have I probably would have thought hard about moving it, trying to figure out if I could get away with it. You see, doesn't he win the exchange here? Like I don't think I would do this. Even though the computer says it's like okay-ish. I wouldn't figure that out. I do understand why it's okay. But I mean, I would have probably gone bishop c8 and just try to go a6, b5. I mean, it's not that easy for him to break through. His knight doesn't have good squares. Like, something like this makes sense. But you're going to see the evaluation drop once he takes this. I mean, just, just completely sense this move. Like, look. I mean, this is important, by the way, because the guy's a good player. And, like I said, this is not... It should not even be a legal chess move that you consider. Um, it doesn't look so bad you're trading a bishop for a knight, but it's just... Positionally, it's just so horrendous that, you know, the piece is pinned, it's, it's, I'm cramped, I mean, it connects my rooks, it frees my queen from the back rank, I mean, just everything about it's horrible. So, like, I'm hoping he had some, like, plan, like, he thought he could win something. The only reason is, at all playable, is if you think you have, like, some immediate, immediate thing after it. Otherwise, it's kind of like... 
like going F3 and King F2 in the first two moves of a chess game. It's like similar magnitude of horrible. Like you just don't you don't trade a great piece like this for a horrible one. It should never even enter your mind. So he did, and I'm sure a lot of you watching like this might be an issue you have. And now I'm just much better. <laughs> like all my pieces are perfect. I was just I just couldn't believe it. Um, I mean, I'm crushing them now. I'm a pawn and nice position. I don't know if my technique was perfect. But... According to the computer, it was good enough, and this move wins the game, and I found the nice rook takes e3. Uh, this move's like a little trickier. I'm sure I'm winning. But, yeah, as you see, like, you know, I'm up two pawns, but the other one ends the game, what I did. Well, folks, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. So recording the video, alright? <laughs> alright, bye-bye.